Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video I am going to discuss whether or not I think Luton Town can win promotion to the Premier League. It's been a fantastic season, 75 points. Who would have thought at the start of the season Luton would get 75 points in the Championship? What a great season. It was a fantastic target set by the board, by the players, by the management staff. We've hit our target and we're now in the playoffs and who knows what could happen. You know, Huddersfield, a team which we are going to be playing in the playoffs, went up without scoring a goal. That could be us. And if you ask me right now, will I take that? Winning on penalties at Wembley, I don't know if I could handle, you know, those nerves. I would take it. I don't care how. But if we was to go up, I don't care how we do it. But the opportunity to do it is just, just incredible. The fact that we got here is just incredible. I am lost for words on how to describe our season. It has been amazing. I thought we had finished 10th, if I'm being honest with you. Start of the season, that was my prediction. But the fact that we finished four places higher than that, it's just, it's great to see. It really is. But, as, um, well, what this video is going to be all about, I can't even get my words right. You know, that's how much I'm proud of this team. What this video is obviously going to be about is going to be about whether or not I think Newton can win promotion to the, the Premier League. But first, we're going to discuss the reasons on why we may not get promoted to the Premier League and also the reasons on what could help us get promotion to the Premier League. But before we start with that, we're going to talk about the Reading game, the game that actually confirmed us a playoff spot. Now, before a ball was kicked, you know, Luton didn't know that Middlesbrough and Millwall were going to lose. We, we, didn't, we didn't know. But results went our way anyway, and we ended up being cleared by five points, which is great to see. If we look at the goal which Harry Cornett scored, probably goal of the season. He used his intelligence on sneaking behind the goalkeeper. He anticipated when the ball was going to go, he used a great bit of skill to round the keeper, and he slotted it home. World-class finish, probably goal of the season, and it deserved all the attention it got on social media. What a goal it was. But if we're going to be serious, it was great thinking by Harry Cornett to do what he did. Goalkeeper, obviously, didn't look where he, well, the players were around him were. And, yeah, just basically gave us a free goal. We take that. You know, if you want to give us, if the Huddersfield keeper wants to give us goals like that, I'll take it. I do not care. If it means we get promotion to the Premier League, then I'm all for it. But, it was obviously a silly error from the keeper. But in the game against Reading, we could have actually won by two or three, in my opinion. And it should have probably been two or three at half-time. Jerome had an opportunity within 30 seconds of the game to score um, a goal. Clark played him in on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Unfortunately, he didn't score. We also created more opportunity, like more opportunities in the first half. I thought we had a very good first half, if I'm being honest. A really bright start. Atmosphere was good. And yeah, we just kept pushing on. In the second half, we did have a few chances. Reading did get a little bit better as well and put more pressure on us. But we defended well. We kept another clean sheet as well with Naismith, Burke and Bradley at the back. It was great to see. Great defending. You know, the amount of clean sheets we've got this season is fantastic. Yes, we've conceded seven against Fulham and five against Birmingham. But if you take those two games out of the way, you know, we've had a very good season at the back. Um, even with those two games added on, you know, I think we've conceded over 10% of our goals against Fulham or some stupid stat I read. You know, when you go to Fulham with nine of your first team players out injured, what can you do? But anyway, we got the three points, we confirmed the playoff position and we are now in the playoffs. And a lot of people actually want us to do well, a lot of neutrals, because it is a fairy tale season if Luton go up. If Luton go up, it'd be one of the greatest promotions in probably in since the 2000 era of of teams going up. It has to be since since I've been alive. I'm 22 years old. I don't I don't remember a team doing what we've done. You know, I've seen teams that have been predicted to not have a good season like your Blackpool when they went up and they were predicted to actually have a really bad season. But I think this is a lot different. There's more money in the championship now. There's better players in the championship now. It's it's mental. And, and I feel like if we can do it with our budget, it's a, it'd be fantastic. But let's actually talk about why Luton will not 
get promotion. Let's debate about that topic. Now, firstly, it's going to be injuries. Injuries have impacted us throughout the whole season. We still have key players out injured right now. Elijah Adebayo, our top goal scorer. Shea, he's out for the season. Our number one goalkeeper, Osho, you know, he's out injured. He may not be a, a key first team player, but he has played a part this season. He's out for the season. Pelly Ruddock, we don't know if he's out for the season, but he's a club legend. He knows the club, he's been there, and he's an important player to have in the dressing room. You know, and he, on his day, when he wants to play football, and he, I believe he does try, um, he's, he's probably one of the best players on the pitch when he wants to be. You know, Barry, he's out injured. And then there's obviously a few others as well who have picked up, you know, silly knocks. But that's, that's going to be the one thing for us that um, could stop us getting promotion um, to the Premier League is whether or not um, injuries impact us. Because if we get nine players out injured against Huddersfield, then we have to say goodbye. I'm sorry, we, no team can cope with that. Quality, I think other teams' individual quality can really cost us. Um, I don't, when I look at us, I look at our squad and we are not a team of individuals. We are, a, like, we all work together. The system fits the squad of players. Now, in other teams, like your Bournemouths, I don't think a certain style of play has really helped Bournemouth get promotion um, from the Championship to the Premier League. I think it's just individual brilliance that's actually done it for them. Um, so your Solanke being just turning up. If if he's if he turns up, Bournemouth are likely to win. If their goalkeeper turns up, they're likely to win. That's that's the team. What I see, like the likes of Bournemouth, your Sheffield United, and um, your Forests. You know they have players with literally good quality. Um, we have players with quality, but we, I don't think we have players that on their own can win a game of football. Whereas I think other teams which we are competing against do that for me, is the one thing that could stop us not winning promotion to the Premier League. And also, the last thing is crowds. Now, we've noticed recently with crowds in the playoffs, especially in the League 1 playoffs, um, that crowds are having an impact, you know. Um, they're giving away teams less um, fans, so they can have more home supporters, which then encourages um, the home team to do well and gives the home advantage. That could also play a part as well. I've noticed that Huddersfield have only given us 2,300. I think in the past they've actually given supporters more um, more um, tickets than that in the past. But it is what it is. We can only give away teams 1,000 because of our ground. So I guess, you know, it, it fares, it fares itself out a little bit. But that could be another reason why... Um, we could not get promotion to the Premier League because the crowd could be impacted. Maybe players get nervous. I'm not too sure. But, you know, it is what it is if it does happen. So, let's talk about Huddersfield. Can we beat Huddersfield? Now, I feel like every time we've played against them, we've been poor every time. We haven't been the same Luton. I think in the home fixture, we just we lacked quality and we didn't really create too many opportunities. It was quite a boring game. In the second game as well, we just... We lacked quality going forward. We didn't create any opportunities. And then when we did get that opportunity to score, and that goal probably could have motivated us to go on to win the game with the penalty, we were unable to take that opportunity. Huddersfield went down the other end, scored their second game set and match. We can't have that happen again. We can't. We need to turn up. We need to have quality going forward. Things need to click. We need to create opportunities. We need to test the goalkeeper, you know. Lee Nichols, the Huddersfield keeper, he's had a fantastic season. Probably the best goalkeeper in the championship, in my opinion, um, on this year on how well he's done. We need to test him. Don't let him have an easy game. We can't let him have an easy game. So, if we can create opportunities, force errors, and do what we've done best throughout the whole season, then I do believe we can beat Huddersfield and progress to the final. But it all comes down to us, you know, attacking. In the away leg, we can probably sit back and defend a little bit more, be more reserved. But we need to score goals at home. We need to go into the away fixture with a one, two, well, if possible, three, four goal lead. You know, Huddersfield, they're not going to be easy. You know, they finished third in the championship. They've had a fantastic season themselves. They've also not spent that much money. They've had a great year, great recruitment. You know, they've played a great style of football. They've, they don't concede many goals. So it is going to be hard. It's just for me. It's just 
all about breaking them down, trying to create those opportunities, maximize the use of Clark, and yeah, hopefully we can score a few goals in the first fixture. What is the difference from this time in being in the playoffs? Now, what I mean by that is, you know, ever since I've supported Luton, every time Luton are in the playoffs, like places, um, we are always the team that are favourites to go up. This time round, we are not the favourites. There is no pressure on us to go up this year. There is none. We've achieved what we had to achieve this season, which was to claim a playoff position. There's no pressure. The pressure's on Huddersfield to beat us because they finished third and also have played in the Premier League recently. Also, pressure's on Sheffield United and the pressure's definitely on Fo Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest probably have the most pressure because of how long they've been in the Championship. And this is like their first, like, probably real good opportunity that they can take to go back to the Premier League, which has been an extremely long time. So, yeah, the pressure's on those three teams. It's not on Luton to have a lot of pressure. So, that's what, for me, makes it a little bit different. You know, I remember when we were in non-league, where we were the biggest club in non-league at the time, and we were bigger than these clubs, and yet York beat us, AFC Wimbledon beat us. This time round, you know, we, we're not the, the big team to win it, which I think could go in our favour. You know, if we talk about Blackpool as well in League 2, they finished 6th and they, they got promotion to League 1. It could happen. It could happen to us. We could be the Blackpool um, that got promotion from League um, Two into League One. Who knows what could happen? Honestly, it's the playoffs. Some people say it's a lottery. It it actually is sometimes. It really is. But if we talk about who's going to be the important players surrounding this time um, during this um, playoff um, games. You know, who's going to be the ones that are going to step up and help us and who I think are going to be extremely vital if we are going to win promotion to the Premier League. Clark, he's the real player which I'm so glad he's back. He's got minutes under his belt as well. Clark is that creativity. He creates opportunities. He creates so many things. His vision, his skills, his passing, his, like everything about Clark. Without him in the team, Luton are not really the same because he unlocks everything. He's our, he's he's just our creator. Him and Berry are very, they're the two similar players. They both create opportunities for us to score goals and to do really well. We need those two players. The fact that we've got Clark is a good thing. We just need him to stay fit and injury free. If we can, then that's a plus. I can see us scoring goals. Without him in the side, I struggle to see him. I, sh I just struggle for us to score goals, if I'm being honest with you, because he, he just creates those opportunities. And then I also want to talk about Bradley as well, our captain, our leader. Do I think we can see seven goals against Fulham with Bradley in the side? No, I don't. I, I really don't. I think Bradley, yeah, recently he hasn't been on it too much, but I still think he's a good defender. And he's, he's actually, when he does play, he's performed really well this season. I know recently he hasn't. But only like I feel when he has minutes under his belt, I think I think against Reading, you saw how good he was, and how and what he's capable of doing. With him, Naismith, Burke, Lockyer, all fit, ready to go, it gives me confidence that we're not going to concede many goals, which is which I feel like we need heading into these playoff games. Lansbury, experienced at this level, one promotion to the Premier League already multiple times. The same with Snodgrass as well. Both of these players are pretty much same value. Their experience and their old heads will be extremely important from now, if from these in these playoff games which we've got. You know, if we're going to win promotion to the Premier League, they know when to kill the game down. They know when to win cheap fouls. They're good at passing. They're gonna use their creativity themselves as well. They're gonna use their brains. Everything about them, they're gonna use because they've got that experience, which is great to see. So those are the players which I think are gonna be vital in order for us to, you know, if we go in to try and win promotion to the Premier League. But what do I think? Do I think we're gonna do it? My heart says yes, my head says no. My head says no because I just don't think we're as strong as we could be. I think next season we could be stronger. I really do. I do think we could do better than this season when everyone's fit because I think we're going to play a more attacking system next year 
and I think we're going to score a lot more goals next year. But we're going to have to wait and see. But guys, that is the end of my video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment section of the video, guys. Do you think Luton will win promotion to the Premier League? Let me know. Let me know your reasons on why you don't think it's going to happen. I want to hear your thoughts, guys. But yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. As I already said, comment down below if you think we're going to win promotion. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.